Oh, hello again. We get a lot of letters on Sir Topham Hatt's railway. People write in asking questions about the railway or to say hello to the engines or sometimes because they have something to complain about. This letter is from a Mrs Parsnip. She's a bit cross because her train was delayed due to works on the line. So Sir Topham Hatt has asked me to write to her to explain. Go to send her this postcard of the Bridges of Sodor. That ought to cheer her up a bit. Dear Mrs Parsnip, I'm sorry that your train was delayed due to the bridge work being carried out on the branch line. This just goes to show how important those bridges are. There are many bridges on the island of Sodor. Stone bridges, metal bridges, and even bridges made of wood. Some bridges are for trains to go over, and some bridges are for trains to go under. And they're all there to help engines and other vehicles get where they want to go as quickly as possible. Without the suspension bridge, engines would have to wind slowly all the way down one side of the valley and up the other side again. That would take much longer. Without the Vickerstown rolling bridge, there would be no quick way to travel back and forth to the mainland. Passengers would have to wait to catch the ferry instead. Without the road and rail bridges, engines and road vehicles would have to stop and wait at level crossings all the time. So you can see how important the bridges are. But it is also important to keep the railway safe. So sometimes maintenance work must be done both on the rails and on the bridges. And unfortunately, that can mean that journeys will take longer. But it only goes to remind us how really useful bridges are. Yours sincerely, Mr Perkins. Right. Better get this in the post quickly. I'll put it in the post box as soon as I get back to Knapford. See you again soon. Goodbye.